Shakur was a very powerful influence in the in in in, in many of the artists' life. So you know, so bottom line is that for the good and for the bad, you know, he was influenced in a lot of people's lives. If it was for the good, it was for the good. If it was for the bad, it was for the bad. But the way it turned out, hey, it's for the bad right now because a lot of people had looked it up. So I mean, I can't say that because it's like it's whatever road you choose to go. Are you scared of this guy's shoot night? That's a question I ask everybody associated with Shug. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel, sc- do you feel scared yeah. or intimidated by him? The phone hung up. Michael Harris had, you know, a baby mama. One of his um, exes, a baby's mo- mother, you know, contacted me. Really a very bad coincidence. At the same time, you contacted me. She says she is the first lady of that death row label she's the real wife she's you know she talks bad about you calls you names and things like that why would she be in competition for you know why would she want to compete with you now is it because you're getting all the press and the books very very interesting and you're coming up with you're coming out with a documentary and so many good things that we we're gonna see is that why what what's can I answer the question? I'll let Lydia answer it also. Sure. My answer would be this. It is no secret throughout this world that Lydia won that judgment for $107 million. We have a lot of uh, snakes coming out of the woodwork. I'll just say that. Having her as a client, uh, because there is a judgment for $107 million and it is so public, it's splashed all over the Internet, it's in the news, it, there's no secret that she got the judgment. Right. Um, and, a lot. And, and here, give me that, and, 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 and let me just say this before I forget. Okay. This is a woman. It turned her own her back on her own child that I had to take care of, mm-hmm. uh, Kimmy. So I just wanted to let you know that I had to house her mm-hmm. in Houston. So if she was, a, if, if, you know, I brought her from Los Angeles now to Houston to live with my mom and took care of her. So you, you, you know, you tell me why she want to come out now. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right about that, and I think it's because now the, the book is launching. It has actually already launched and is out there, and, and Lydia will be doing it. We spent time on that, then we crazy. Right, exactly. So what, what we're going to do is this. I'll basically address it, and I'll let Lydia go ahead and finish addressing it, that we've had a lot of people come out of the woodwork because of such a huge judgment. It is so public. It is a lot of money that we're talking about, um, and everybody's trying to cash in on Lydia's, uh, Lydia's money and trying to get money out of Lydia and basically trying to make her look bad. And this woman, to me, from my understanding, uh, doesn't have very good standing anyway, and obviously sees my client, who has a huge judgment, who's doing very well for herself, takes care of her daughter, takes care of her family, and is wanting to basically make her look... You don't see Lydia cussing or, or putting or cursing her out or saying derogatory names towards her. Right. Her name is Evelyn Kim Lee, and Evelyn is saying yeah. all these things... Um, this website has a very huge traffic from three countries, mainly the United States, um, Canada, and the UK. The traffic is highest from the US. So a lot of people in the US are gonna be reading this, they're gonna be listening to this audio, and they're gonna make their own minds up. And we see exactly what is going on here. Lydia, this is my advice, do your own thing, keep your stuff to okay. yourself, you know, because it's just amazing. The odds of her writing me all this the very same day you guys contacted me, you know? Leaks, people leak things around and all that stuff. That question I wanted to ask you. Shook Knight has been in the news lately, very much so lately because he was beaten up by someone who is a barber. We never knew what happened, what caused it. The barber has been all over the internet interviewing with media. They call him the knockout kid. They call him the knockout kid. (laughs) And he's been doing a lot of interviews, but he would not say in his interview what caused the fight. But the fight was very, very graphic. She got blood everywhere on his body. Uh, I believe uh, the fight, uh, as I heard it, was uh, over some money. Mm -hmm. I actually saw the audio, the audio and the video of uh, the fight. Somebody had it on a camera phone that's uploaded on YouTube. I actually, I I did some investigating yesterday and I saw, uh, apparently it was, you could hear it. She ignited something to the man about his money and the next thing you know, uh, the guy knocks him out. Yeah, and the guy's a small guy. He's getting a lot of attention. People want to sign him left and right, you know? 
People who don't like Suge want to sign him. The game, a rapper, wants to sign him for something. I don't even know whether it's a boxing deal or a record deal, whatever it is. Um, Lydia, what's your take on that? It, 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 I mean, and I'm trying to see how I would phrase it. Because anybody can get knocked out, but I'm just saying, you know, what took him so long? <laughs> <laughs> what took him so long? <laughs> No, I mean, I, that, that, you know. I'm expecting Shug Knight to call me too. <laughs> I want to set the record straight. I really would love him. Maybe, to call maybe me. he'll call you now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I really would. I mean, everybody, everybody acts like they're so in shock. You know, it's, you know, a lot of, you know, it's like, what took so long? To, you know, for the guy to come down. That's why I think everybody's so hyped up about it because it's like they're like, wow, you know. Yeah, I see I'm your point. I'm afraid of him. So now everybody like says, oh, you got knocked out. I will. I would really love to interview him and find out his side of oh. stories. You know. Yeah, he hasn't said anything. So said, my thing is that it is what it is. At the end of the day. Yeah, Mr. Knight. They said Mr. Knight has a reality show that's in the works and all that stuff. You know, everybody's trying to survive and stuff like that. But um, I would love to talk to him. If anybody's listened to this interview and know how I can get in touch with Shug, I would love to interview Shug. I'd like to hear his side of the story of things, well, he probably wants, wants you to do what you do, uh, call all, uh, hiphopall.com. You know, you probably, uh, he'll he respond now once you know I, you know, I did an interview. you probably get a quick interview. Yes. <laughs> It, it would be it'll be nice to talk to him really to hear his side of the well, story you know because many people are still if you notice the comeback kid on his video when they interviewed him he talked about how he ruined careers of Tupac he actually told Tupac's mom and Biggie's mom and told all of them uh, I'm sorry for your loss I'm sorry for he messed up people's careers and Biggie was not even on on um, death row <laughs> yeah he wasn't you know that the interesting thing I find thing is that if, if Lydia, who is my client, if she's lying, why didn't this guy show up to court? He, he refused to give documents. He refused to show up to court. And that's exactly why she got the judgment. Exactly. And that's I thought, what we read. Even though each time I went into court, I won. Okay, so, you know, and, and this is a big, high, powerful case. And each time, the judges ain't going to make no mistake. I won each, 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 uh, each proceedings I went to. Mm -hmm. I won. Yeah, and we read it. I work on my website. I write my stories with the wires. The wires are the sources of news that we news reporters use in the newsroom, and they're most accurate. And then we put it out for the public. I don't write my news on hearsay, like some blogs out there. In the wires, it said the Harrises emerged victorious because Knight refused to appear in court on a number of dates to answer questions about the label's finances. And so the judge gave you the judgment, you know, and... It was, it was a default judgment. We had up other proceedings after that, too. So, you know what I'm saying? And it's really sad because he had to sell all the classical recordings. But it would be nice if he would love to talk to me. I am so happy you gave me this interview. Thank you so much for the book. You're I'm going to read the book. And, and when you talk to Kim, tell him, uh, Devin and Lee, tell him, may God bless her. Oh, that's all I can say, you know. And that's very kind of you to say that. May God bless her, you know. But, uh, one thing I want to say, Kimmy, real quick before we end the sure. interview, if I can. <laughs> Uh, with regards to Kim, and I believe her last name is Lee, Kim Lee, yeah. who's making accusations against Lydia, we, uh, our stance on that is going to be publicly, and me representing her as a publicist, I'm responsible for her public image, we, we're not going to get into a uh, dispute with her. As far as her calling my client names and questioning her sexuality, it has nothing to do with what's going on here, and it yeah. shows what kind of a level she's at. And the client is above that, above that level. And this is what I want to reiterate when I interview her. I want to find out what she wants to talk about. Why after the judgment? Why after all her books, her all her stuff? What do you want to tell? So I want I mean, to know. She have proof. I mean, if she have proof, I mean, just see what proof does she have? You know, everything she's saying. You know, let her bring some uh, come to the table. I mean, the cow girl, the whatever she said, whatever. You know. Yeah, I yeah, I would be interested in in having her do that. And my thing would be my my question uh, publicly, and I'm putting this on record, would be to her. What is she trying to get out of my client? What is her dollar figure? Because it's obvious what's going on here. Right. I don't, I don't she wants to get some money out of my client. Right. I don't owe anything. That, that, you know, everybody wants to know that. That's one of the questions. Everybody, everybody wants something out of the $107 million judgment. That's a lot of money. <laughs> going on. It is a lot of money. 
lot of money. <laughs> that that's a lot and, of and, money. And, you know, she contradicted herself because if she was the wife, why the judge not in, in her name? Come on, keep it one hundred. Well, I really thank Lydia for giving me this interview, and I also want to thank her publicist, who has really done a good job of you know contacting us so that we can know what's going on here, and Kara Topolsky, KSD Communications, Oroville, California. Kara, thank you yes. so much. Please thank Lydia on my behalf and all my readers for the interview.